before the remedy came out a few years later I, those two years i was just recording and getting things together um i was blessed to be um now he's controversial now but at the time i was blessed to be one of three mcs chosen to work with bill cosby dr cosby um and his group called the cosnerati um the cosnerati meant cosby's narratives narratives and pretty much we just took a lot of his thoughts and just wanted to use raps to encourage our generation just to do better and be better you know just inspire them without being too preachy just you know using those 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 poems and those mc lyrics just to kind of tap into them you know and awaken them and so i was blessed to ride that train around that time for about two years i was i was you know on all big platforms i'm I, interesting enough one of the platforms that, that that me and my brother saw me on one day around uh 2001 i remember my brother was he me and he was in the kitchen and he um what's that bts what's that called what's that show where, where aj and free was at on bt where they were sitting on the couch 106 in park right yeah but he, he he looked at me one day we just in the kitchen he said bro you're gonna be on it one day i looked and said i said yeah i am and then one day i looked up and then i'm the curtain opens and it says 106 in park and i so i was actually on there with the two other mcs with bill cosby it was a profound moment you know and so that's what was happening with me around that time between 2007 and 2009 and then i i was blessed to do two things around that time um my album my third my well not say third album was it my third album i think it was my third album third or fourth album um it's called the remedy right and so i i had a um i i just got my my book deal with a big publishing company um and and uh called the holistic remedy well it's called holistic remedy now but my book was called the remedy and it was about detoxing it was about giving, uh, sharing wellness protocols, you know, for the hip hop generation and just really, you know, getting brothers and sisters, you know, into a lifestyle. Because to that point, you had a few rappers dropping wellness raps beyond me. They're more known than me. You had Dead Prez with Get Healthy. You had uh, Keras One with, with Beef. But outside of them, it wasn't really too many. But I wanted to now go another level and, and create a book, a lifestyle that really give brothers and sisters a a paradigm of how they can shift and transform a life holistically. Um, and this was 2009, just to give you context, right? This is before all of this is happening now. And so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a pioneer. I'm a pioneer of a lot of this stuff that's happening that's normalized now. Um, the blessing to be about the pioneer is that you're the first. Here's a lot of fight. The, the challenge is that people don't know, remember that you're the pioneer, that you started a lot of the stuff. And, and, and so now they come in and with, with tools and opportunity and the algorithm and they could just overnight a thousand, a million, 500,000 people align with them and they're not knowing who the founding father was with a lot of this consciousness, you know, with specifically with the health and wellness. There was, there was nobody doing what I was doing in 2009 um, when it comes to holistic wellness in our age capacities. You had Dr. Saber, you had my mother, Queen of Fu, Dr. Africa, but there's no person you can produce to me ever that has did that, that had a published work that was doing it specifically with the intention of awakening the holistic wellness for our generation. So the music reflected that, um, the, 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 the work reflected that, and then I created a, a wellness supplement, 2010, the first of my generation to do that at that level um, with the Super Mega Greens. And it's a plant-based uh, algae formula that you can add to water, fruit juice. It helps to build the immune system, it helps to detox the body, but also build, you know, the body up. So, you know, if you have low energy, it helps to really charge you up. Um, if you're doing a detox or fast, your body can still be fed, even though you're detoxing. So um, me and my brother produced that with our company called the Super Mega Foods. And after that, you know, I had, I had, I had my um, I, I walked away from all of that. I was still running my, my businesses, but I, I joined the service and, and did my time in the service, which was a profound experience. Um, I, I was a combat combat veteran. I was an infantryman. So I got to go to Afghanistan. I was in the war. But the beauty of me being deployed, I was still a vegan. Never, well, the whole time I was in service. And I got to bring Supernova Slum into the service. So that's one thing. I didn't come some automaton soldier following orders and that was it. I got to bring, you know, what the work that I was doing up to that point to other servicemen and women. You know, um, you know, after six months of being on on the base, everybody's walking around a gallon of green juice. That was me, you know, captains and lieutenants and and uh, other other, you know, um, you know, 
you know, low ranking Joes like myself and, and then higher ups would just started to ask me. I never, you know, I never convinced people. I just would just show up as an example, you know, and people started to take on to take on to that. Even when I deployed, I happened to deploy with two special forces groups, spec op groups uh, and, um, you know, high level warriors. And same thing over there. When I was deployed, we lived we lived in the villages with the Afghans elders with the two with two imams so i was in in we wasn't on the fob for operational base we were really in the trenches and um i just happened to be blessed with the imams i was living with they had non masanto fresh fruits and vegetables grown all over the place so i would you know one of my special forces uh, master sergeants had a had his wife send a juicer over and i when we were not out doing work i would juice for the joes i would juice for the afghans i would juice for the for the islamic elders Right. So the medicine man showed up, you know, even in war, you know. Uh, so all of that, brother, <laughs> brings me to you now. I gave you a timeline <laughs> and I yield the mic. I'll, I'll give it back to you. I know it's fine for me being long winded, but I just had to kind of plug in the journey. Nah, man, you blew me away. I mean, it's an honor to. um even to be able to talk to you because you have worked with so many giants, you have influenced people. And like you say, sometimes people don't know where things started. And this is an opportunity for me to learn and for the viewers to learn. So I, I really, really appreciate you. You know, the show, man, we, we 35 minutes in. So I want to say, you know, if the viewers, if, if they want to learn more about you, they want to support your work, they want to check out your books, they want to uh, check out the supplements. What's the best way for them to do that? I'm just just on all social media handles, my mainly Instagram and YouTube. Um, you can get me at Supernova Slum, S U P A N O V A S L O M, just how you see it here. Um, you know, you can hit me up on Instagram. Uh, all of my links are there, so you can see the book if you need to go to Amazon. Both of my books are available. I have a have a new book, current book called "Man Heal Thyself: The Wellness Warrior's Journey to Self Mastery." It's a book specifically for men. And encouraging men on their wellness and their self care because our women are leading that signal in the algorithm. And so the question is always asked, what do we have for the men? Right. So that's my current book that I uh, partnered with my mother and uh, put out in the marketplace. Um, and currently, and so that also supports, we have a, um, a online rights of passage training that we do for men, inspired by the teachings of the book to give brothers those additional tools. And uh, we were, we've been doing the wellness training um online for three years now have brothers all around the world from africa from the caribbean from the uk uh australia canada and because you can you know wherever you are you could just log on and, and join brothers just doing their wellness works so it's a 12-week rise of passage program the next one starts um in the spring of next year um but in the meantime you can get the book man heal thyself um the wellness warriors journey to self-mastery on Amazon, you can also get my other book I, I mentioned earlier, The Remedy. It's now known as The Holistic Remedy. That's also available on Amazon. And my discography, all of my music, you just go anywhere where they have digital music. You could just type in Supernova Slum and all of my albums are there. And like I said, I have, fe I have features, blessed to have features with uh, Erica Badu, um, Ele J Electronica, um, Dead Prez, Ice T. Um, who else do I work with? Uh, Ludacris, Jada Kiss, uh, T.I., The Game, and many others, you know. So still an independent artist, you know, um, doing in, doing major things, you know, and, um, and really growing the wellness work. Man, that's what's up. Um, I want to thank you again for being patient with me. I apologize for the delay at the beginning. Like I said, I'm in Zanzibar, so the you know the technology yeah, is a problems. little bit slower. Wow, yeah. like, Man, I just got here. I was in Rwanda, so I ain't even get a chance to really kick it and see everything yet. But I'm I'm excited. Um, and this interview is is inspiring to me and motivating me. So I just want to ask you one more question, one last yeah. question. Um, you mentioned films, books, documentaries, music. Um, do you have any upcoming projects or anything that you want to, you know, send out there? Yeah, well, I'm 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 back I'm back in the in the well I've been back in the lab for the last couple of years working on a new a new album. Um, it's tentatively titled Apocalypse X. And powerful hip hop, you know, uh, 
you know, my, my thing, I call it warrior music because I really want to inspire the, the, the warrior and the, and the marvel in each and every one of us, you know, as superheroes, but we need to be activated. So this album specifically is to awaken the warrior, <laughs> awaken the uh, superhero, the superhero, and brothers and sisters, because, you know, when you, anytime you're in the generation where the young people are saying they want demon time, that's, a, that's, a, that's an alarm, right? And so it's going to counteract that. Right. And so we need our warriors on deck. We need our brothers and sisters, you know, our Jedi's on deck that are really here on the planet in whatever capacity to do their work and to be inspired to do that. And so the new album I'm working on is is that's that's the focus. And um, I'm gunning, you know, before it come probably going to come out next summer, um, as, the Mus- as the Muslims will say, inshallah, <laughs> God willing, maybe next summer is the target. I'm gunning to have feature. I'm gunning for Twister. I'm gunning for Busta Rhymes. I'm gunning for uh, um, two of my favorite Bone Thug members, uh, Busy Bone and Crazy Bone. I'm gunning from Chip, Chip, for Chip Fu from Foosh Um and a few others. I'm, gun, I'm gunning. I got, I got a list. You know, I'm some gunning for. So um, it's, it's going to be a real powerful, profound project, and I'm excited about it. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm working on. Um, like I said, we have in spring this is the next rites of passage for the brothers, the online training for the men. And um, yeah, we're, we're still moving and grooving and um, we're, we're building. Man, that's definitely good to hear. Um, so, yeah, like I said, man, I just want to thank you again and please continue the great work that you're doing. Um, thank you to you and your family because you're taking it to the next generation. And I'm quite sure, you know, that a lot of the seeds that you planted will continue to sprout and grow. And we'll, you know, uh, just enjoy that and learn from it in the community. So I really, really appreciate you. I want to thank the viewers for tuning in and y'all make sure y'all support this brother and check them out. Until next time, family, has been a phenomenal episode of Taye Speaks. Peace. Thank you, Brother Yahoo. Appreciate you. Thank you, family. Thank you, listeners, for taking the time to hear mm-hmm. us. I appreciate you all. Uh, continue to do your work. Well, the salute. Thank you. Peace, King. Peace.